Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can trick the system. Okay, and this you will only do in dev and QA and if this is only required if you are, you know, security folks is probably busy or doing something and you are a technical guy and you can trick the system. So you can open a transaction again. It's only in dev, probably not in QA also, where you should be able to, you want to execute a transaction but you don't have authorization and you want to check uh, how you can get the authorization okay first thing is suppose this is the transaction code i am going here and i'll just take this off for now and i'll execute okay and here you will see you are not authorized to use this transaction okay this is this is what we get now if i click on this and it will take me to the line so i'll just double click on the lines okay 62 and now here there will be the place where they're firing this message. So here what you have to do, you have to just understand a little bit of a map. You put the breakpoint on 56, okay? And for this you need debug with change, okay? Now what I'll do is I'll just close this and now boom, I'll get the same thing. The code will generate, it will be a size of RC4. I'll change this to zero, okay? and voila now i'll be able to execute this transaction and trick the security okay again i repeat you cannot you could never do it this in production shouldn't be doing it in qa but for in dev probably you can do this okay so this is something that you can use and for this you need to have debug with change authorization